south of the Gulf of Siam are yet more jewels in Thailand's crown. Though a lot smaller than Phuket, Koh Samui also has a variety of different resorts and beaches to choose from. Paula and Claire took a drive around the island to discover some of the attractions and different beaches. Koh Samui itself is literally 25 kilometres long and 21 kilometres wide. Um, to do a full circuit would take about two hours if you didn't stop, so it's very easy to see everything on the island. Things to do in the evening in Koh Samui, the main resort is Chowing, where there are lots of things to do, anything from Thai boxing to reggae bars to nightclubs. A load of shopping markets. But if that's not what the customer would want, I would definitely recommend going to one of the quieter beaches um, to get away from it all where there's none of that nightlife and it's just quiet and chill. Koh Samui also has a wide choice of accommodation. The girls checked out three properties from two of Thailand's leading hotel and resort groups, Central and Amari. So the main concentration of hotels is actually in Chawing Beach, but there are other places that you can go if you want to be quieter. For example, the hotel we set at Lam Mai Beach was um, slightly further set out, but it's very accessible to places. The taxis are very cheap here and it's very easy to get around. There's also a lot of choice of different types of accommodation, from just simple little beach huts which are next to nothing, up to sort of big grand hotels with big swimming pools and everything. There's a lot more to do in Koh Samui, like what we're doing today. As you can see, we're, we're heading over to Ang Tong National Park. It's a full day excursion, uh, costs about £15, which is great value for money. Being scared walking up those wooden bridges and coming up those steps and that height is just, when you get up here, it definitely, definitely is worth it. It is just the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. It's fantastic. This is what I came to Thailand for and I've got it. Koh Samui would be excellent to add into a multi-centre holiday, combined with Bangkok and, and maybe North Thailand as well. It's so easy to add them all together. Fly back down here and just be in paradise for the end of your holiday. And last but not least, the girls headed to Koh Tao, accessible as a day trip or for overnight stays from Koh Samui, and a mecca for diving enthusiasts. It's just idyllic. It's really small, a lot smaller than Koh Samui, and it's a little bit like what Koh Samui was like 20 years ago. Very quiet, hardly any people here. This is just the most amazingly beautiful place. On a multi-centre holiday, northern Thailand provides an exotic contrast to Bangkok and the beaches of the south. Philip and Stuart took a one-hour Bangkok Airways flight to Udon Thani, gateway to the northeast region of Isan.